So um, this is one of the ones I'm more excited about. We've got uh, we've got Ian here, and we're going to do something I think has been uh, requested a lot, which is a hands-on tutorial in CapCut editing. And so, uh, yeah, Ian, I'm excited to have you. Ray, do we have any housekeeping before we just dive straight into editing on CapCut? Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm, I'm just excited to get going. So the only housekeeping note I have is just go, Ian! Yeah! That's it. That's that all I so have. Silly. <laughs> so I'm just... So silly. I love it. I love it. Um, all right. So, Ian, I want to step through a couple things. I want to start with just basic adding some clips to a cap cut timeline. Okay. Um, I also want to go through adding music because you gave that hack at the event uh, last week of screen yeah. recording from it's from from the music. And that for me, like totally changed my life as far as editing on cap cut <laughs> goes. Um, and then also, you know, into transitions, how to do transitions. And then let's end on the fun stuff, the the Ian backflip stuff and, and how you do the fun ones. Is that, does that sound like a doable plan? Oh, yeah, it sounds fine. We've got plenty of time. I only had 15 minutes of Blueprint. So this is yeah. like a world of opportunity here. I like it. I like it. Well, let's, let's, let's get into it. So let's see what uh, I can share. Let's see. I'm going to try to share from my phone. Screen. Start. And it should be sharing now. Yeah. There we are. There you go. Very We're cool. up. Okay, cool. Okay. Get out of here, Tim. Tim, Nobody you're taking up my whole me. screen. I know. Any more than they have to. I know. All right. So start off with CapCut. So I, I guess I, I want to know how many people are actually using CapCut or using anything for their uh, mobile videos. Yeah. Good amount of you. Drop drop a one in the chat if you're on CapCut. Drop a two if you've never used it before. Yeah, and, and drop a three if you're a pro. <laughs> what do you drop if you download it and never used it? There's some, there's some <laughs> I know yeah. there's some out there. That a zero that. if you have it but never, <laughs> never used, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Oh, come on, Katie. I Katie know. Katie. Get out of here. Sorry. Can't Sorry, talk. I can't talk right now. I know. I'm in the like... middle of a Zoom. Well, it's terrible because it's for an offer. She's trying to, you know, she's trying to get moving on it. You know? Oh, my gosh. Get out of here, Tim. All right. So let's start off with just the basics of CapCut. Um, uh, I'm going to start at the top. You cannot see. You can't see when I'm touching the screen, but I'm just going to try to describe it. Up at the very top, you have some you have uh, some advanced features. We're not going to get too far into that, but as you see, they added ad script. If you want to make ads, they have an ad maker. They have just a normal camera. Captions. I'm going to pause on captions for a minute. A lot of people see that uh, hear about this captions app. Like, how do I add captions? How do I add captions? CapCut does that built in, and so. That's a good segue into why CapCut. CapCut is the, in my opinion, the best tool on mobile to be able to edit like professional level videos all on your smartphone without having like, I don't know, without spending way too much time. And as we know, that's kind of the thing that we need to focus on these days. It's all about getting information out as quickly as possible. So next we have Retouch, which is just, um, so they do things like you can make cartoon effects, you can do filters on your videos. So that's fun. Prompter. Prompter is really, really cool because it's a teleprompter like Big View or some of those other apps that people have used. Okay. Uh, auto cut is it automatically goes through and chops up your video for you. And then AI images. So we're going to skip all that. All right, Tim, I think that I covered the top part. What do you yeah, you got me. Now I'm going through and looking at all this fun stuff. It looks super interesting. Yeah, there's a there's a lot in here. So what do you think I should focus on first? Just pull it up. Uh, look, I want to go just simple on, you know, adding videos to a timeline and just okay. putting things in order, how to shorten, lengthen clips. Like, okay. Let's start with the basics. Okay, so we'll start with that. So I'm going to open up this one that says Battenberg POV. 
uh, a cool thing is I can I can select the three dots over on the right hand side and choose duplicate so I don't mess up my original file because these are gold, right? I need to be able to put them places and maybe uh, borrow from them later. So if you saw that, I clicked the three dots and I chose duplicate. It moves it right to the top. So I'm going to open this up. So starting off, you'll see at the top in the center is your uh, your video feed itself. And, and do do me a favor, delete the sound in the bottom. <laughs> I don't want to delete this sound, but I'll do this. Oh, it's extracted. Yeah. Well, okay. and I'll show you how I do that. I'll show you how I, how I ended up doing okay. that. So we've got uh, this this video in the middle. And then just below that, you'll see the word mute. Everybody can see mute. And then it says cover. And then you see what are a bunch of clips. So these clips are what I strung together as I was recording my content. And notice they're short. I'm not spending a lot of time trying to go through and come up with a script and make sure that I remember everything. I just record a bunch of clips on my phone. I try to do it in logical order. And then on CapCut, I can hit on the far right, you see this plus sign. I can hit plus and choose all of those clips at once and just hit upload. And then they're already in order. And then from there, what makes it really neat is I can just trim them a little bit so that I get rid of the blank space. So no more having to remember every little detail about a house. So let's do this. Let's uh, throw a transition on. Because right now you've got all jump cuts. Yes. Let's let's play something and, and watch the transition. So you've got one transition there. Um. Yeah, I'll pull up. Uh, I'll pull up. This one, this is a a good transition. Well, just... okay. Did you want to do it in there? Well, yeah, I, I want to show them how to add a transition where they don't have one already. Got it. So All just right. that simple yeah, thing, it, right? Keep it like super, you, you super have a transition simple. here. Got it. So I'm right here. Uh, if you look between these two clips, you'll see this line. So you'll see this uh, square with it almost looks like an eye or a white line in there. I'm going to click on that. All right. So this is clip one right here. This is clip two right here. In between them is this line that I'm going to click on. It's a square box with a white line. I'm going to click on that. And now it pulls up a selection for different types of transitions. So you'll see at the top that trending is highlighted. These are all common trending transitions. You'll notice that some of them say pro. Pro transitions mean I paid for the app. You do not have to pay for this app. It is free, but you get a couple extra transitions and features in the app if you do. Oh my gosh. Oh, there you go. Thought I put uh, focus on. Okay, oh, so man. next is... <laughs> we we oh, lost the uh, screen share there. Oh, that's, that's terrible. All right, one sec, one sec. Really, I lost the screen share? Okay. It kicked you all the way out. It did. Yeah. That's a heck of a spam call. What the heck? All right. Hold on. So when Ian's going through all this stuff, but we know, right, we have to play with it to figure out how to work it. You guys should probably have it open on your phone right now if you don't already. Um, it's a good point. And be kind of walking through this stuff as we go. Like I got my phone open on a timeline and playing with some transitions. That's what so, she said. That's what she said. It was late, but a little late, a little late. Well, you had to let him finish. Right. That's what she you said. know, <laughs> still, you know, <laughs> right. You gotta, you gotta get on the timing there. Yeah. That was a good so, one. I had yeah. to turn on focus. I'm going back to logging in. I don't see your phone though. Oh, you're logging on zoom. Yeah. Yeah. I'm logging in. It's a whole process. It's a whole process. But I turned on right. focus, so it won't kick me let's, out. Again. Let's hit on transitions real quick, but then let's get into music because I love the way you pull music from Instagram into CapCut. I mean, I, I borrow music. Well, like just just so everybody knows, you have to upload, you have to add the music in Instagram. 
right? You have to add the music in Instagram to get all the fun algorithm stuff of using audio in Instagram. Mm. But the problem is, is you have to time the video to the music and you can't put the, the music in CapCut. And so there's this way that Ian has to bring the music from the gram into CapCut, which is kind of a cool little hack. Yeah. All right. So we're still at transition. So you remember that I had, I'll go back to the, to the two scenes. So yeah. it just goes from one scene to the other. Yeah. Let's but just instead, add one. I'm going to add a quick transition and I'll do the pull in effect because I think the pull in effect Great. some simple makes it really clean. So I'll play it back again. Park across the street, some simple pavers. And a I don't know if you guys could see it because it went so fast, but it goes very quick. So I'll go real slow again. So yeah. You see it better when it's actually on your phone and not on Zoom. Yeah. But That's what's fun is on these two, when you're doing uh, listing videos, is they have pull in, they've got, I'm not going to say pull ox rail, hit the button. Um, you can slide left, you can slide right. And the thing is, like, as you're doing a shot, like if my shot is panning right and I slide right into the transition, like mm -hmm. you can get some cool effects going while you're doing your listing videos and cutting back and forth with those um, in out side to side transitions. I think what happens is if you listen to a lot of the gurus out there about cinematography and like fil just filming, just filming in general, uh, people, once they learn about transitions, they put them everywhere. Yeah. Don't, don't do that. That's too much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like a good jump Careful. cut. Yeah. It's know? gotta be a, a good, clean, easy to follow for people. Cause All right, that, let's get a, let's get a song in here. Let's get a song. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Instagram. I don't know who this guy. Uh, yeah, I do. There you go. Tim, Tim Macy's song. Oh, there you go. Can you hear that? Yes. When I hit play, when I turn the yeah. down. Yep. All right. And where do I start? So Tim I'm, Macy's go to well, is the worst go to. <laughs> okay so what i'm gonna do is on an iphone this also works on android um you can pull down at the top use two fingers Ian, to pull down. let's let's get like a song though like one of the trending songs on instagram that is trending no well, maybe hopefully i don't know it may have had his audio included in it so uh go to one of yours sir okay i'll go to one of mine <laughs> Easy to find when you know your own stuff. Yeah. All right. So here's a trending song. Ball rolling down in the okay. So I've got the sound off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag from the top and pull down. And this brings me to my... Um, my screen where I can choose record, which is the bottom left hand icon. It's the circle. It looks like a target symbol. I can't click on it now because I'm in, I'm yeah. sharing my screen, but if I hit record and then I just let the song play through, then yeah. it creates an audio file that I can upload into my CapCut. Song. Okay. So does everybody get that? Your screen recording whatever song you want to get from Instagram and then you're pulling it into cap cut that way, which totally like John said is, is brilliant because I have just yelled at my phone for the last six months <laughs> being annoyed that I can't pull audio in and Ian just solved my problem very uh, quickly. Ian, do you have like one of those recorded sounds in your thing so we can like look at yes. um, shortening yes. the audio and all that fun stuff? Let's, let's just add audio that you pulled from Instagram to that video and let's time some clips. Okay. We'll see if I can do that. But, um, the sec there, so there's multiple ways you can do that. The other way is instead of watching and recording the whole video, if you see at the bottom left, you actually have, it says Ian of Austin. And then it says sick Ick, and Adele remix. You see how it has that. So every Instagram video has the sound down there. So I can just click on that. And it'll take yeah. me to a page that's using that audio. In this and case, it, this is also super simple, but saving audios, like when you're scrolling through stuff and you're like, oh, I like this song, like save the audio so you can go back and use it on another reel. Yes. I have a ton of saved audio that uh, anytime I'm listening to it, I'm like, God, that's good. That's a good song. That's a good song. They even, well, 
I'm I'm getting ready to nerd out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay. Hey, so guys. when I am in CapCut, I can choose add or add audio at the bottom. So you see at the bottom row says edit and then it says audio. So if I click on audio, I choose extracted because extracted gives me sound from a video that I've recorded off of my phone. And so, so it will extract the sound from the video and only import the sound of your video. That is correct. It'll only it. import the sound. I don't know how far down I have to go to make this work. Oh, this might be, yeah. one. I think this is one. Let's say this is one. This is one for the Atlanta launch. Okay, so I'm just selecting it. You see, I can, I, I'm looking at it being one uh, minute and 11 seconds. I'm gonna hit import sound only at the bottom. It's the big green uh, uh, rectangle. I was like, it's not a square. Import sound only. So if I choose import sound, now I have this. This is my audio track. And play it. say it again. I said, play that. Oh, play it. I'll play it. This house is so There's nothing but hard process. Simple pavers. All right. So now you got some sound, right, Ian? I've got some sound. It's a little so loud. Let's let's go back and like zoom in on the sound and time some clips to the music. Perfect. In order to zoom in on CapCut, you take just you're pinching just like with photos. And I'm gonna pull out, pull and zoom in as much as I can. So this gives me a really, really granular ability to adjust the timing for everything. Let me explain real quick. For those of you that have not seen this yet, if you look at the sound on the bottom here, you can see all the up and down. That is the volume of the sound. So it goes up a little bit, then it goes down. And so when you're creating transitions and timing or anything, you want those spikes to line up, generally to line up with your clips. That's kind of advanced. So you can kind of find the beat, right? Like you find the beat. You want to time the, the clips to the music and you can zoom in and you can hear it. But a lot of times when you zoom in, you can also see it, like see the difference right. in the song and align the clip up to it. Well, so what happens is you'll see people doing all these, these lip sync videos and their volume, yeah. it's always off. It's because they don't do this. They yeah. just they try to time it. And it's like, well, you could just do it in the app. Um, so one other quick hack for CapCut is I can click on the sound and I can choose beats. Do you see that at the bottom, right in the middle? Yeah. Click beats. And at the bottom left, it says auto-generate. So I'm going to choose auto-generate. Oh, get out of here. And it'll take just a second. And now That's all, ridiculous. Of these, all of these yellow dots are the beat. So I can just time my video to those yellow dots. To the yellow dots. And there's two options. There's if you have rhythm and if you don't. And so this is <laughs> this is the fast I'm one. The, I'm the latter. Okay, so then I can go to beat one. So that right now it's beat two is selected. I'm going to choose beat one. And you see it spreads them uh, apart a lot further. And yeah, so yeah. that's like about a second, I think is what it is, right? Uh, generally. So if I play it, just see if you can listen for the beat as I play it. Through. Okay. Uh, because it's because it's going through like streaming and on the internet, it's not. Yeah, the timing's off. Yeah, but the timing's you want to play with that on your app for sure. All right, so, that's another hack that I did not know before today. Great. And now, if I was trying to line up clips uh, to the beat. Does I it snap either, to it? Go, go, go modify a clip. It does. So I'm on a clip right oh here. Oh my goodness. Get out of here. And I can use the line. Actually, I'm going to start from the beginning. Uh, I'm going to move that all the way over. Okay. So right here. So I can use the line to line it up or I can just pull and snap. So if I go, I selected the clip. I'm going to drag from the right hand side of that clip and it snaps to it. And it snaps to the beat. Snap to the beat. So now I've got a transition on the beat. 
Yeah. Yeah. You can do everything in here. You can do. And that, again, that goes back to the power of something like CapCut versus doing it in Instagram or TikTok or even YouTube shorts. They're all adding their elements, Splice. but this does all of it. Yeah. I really what like it. I like Splice? it a lot. I really like Splice a lot, but after seeing some of this stuff, it's just going to be easier to edit. It's just, uh, it's just so it's so easy. I like I learn another new thing every time Ian jumps on here, and I'm just like, wow, CapCut can do everything. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, uh, May asked where you get the transitions. Um, they're just right in the app, May. So you just when you put the clips together, you click on one of those little squares in between the clips, and it just pops up with transition options for you. Correct. So I'll do it again. So if I when I so I'm. Um, using this as uh, the long white line as a guiding line that lets yeah. me that's that's where I'm playing or where my video is playing at the moment. So right here, there's a white box just next to it. If I click on that, it pulls up the and that glitch glitch flash. That's a prominent one. So I'm clicking on glitch flash. It says it's too short, but it worked anyway. Oh. See that? Okay, cool. So when I when I click it, I chose glitch flash. And so here's what it looks like in slow-mo. See that? The yeah. color. Nice. Cool. So All it. right. So we pulled in audio. Just drop some questions in the chat if you got some editing questions um, on this stuff. I think pulling the audio in is a big one um, in, in getting the clips all lined up. And uh, yeah, Ian, why don't you take us through uh, speed ramps are ridiculously easy on this. Why don't you take us through some speed showing uh, okay. showing how to, how to speed it up? Or before we do that, I want to stick on audio because Jasmine just asked to uh, get it to snap to the beat again. So, okay. well, let's go to add adding the beats. So clicking on the sound and then Click on the sound. Yeah. And then scrolling to the right where it says beats. Yep. And that's how you can add them. And then you it's auto on the generating left, it's them. auto generate. And you yep. can choose beat one, which is a little more subtle, and beat two, which is a rapid uh succession. And then Jasmine, as you're editing the the length of your clip, it will automatically snap to um that little yellow dot when it gets close to it. Yeah. And with the name, it's kind of hard to see this one. Yeah. They don't even have it in there. See, like my first one isn't even, my first transition isn't even on the beat. Yeah. You know, and you have to think about like, what's the point of your video, but uh, that really does level it up. Yeah. Oh, big time. Um, hey, let's, uh, I don't know what you have for your most recent videos in your camera roll, um, but like, do you have one where you could just start a fresh project and import some clips? Sure, I could. I probably could have prepped you a little more, huh? No, it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'm just thinking what... I don't think I have anything in my camera. Well, like all of this I put together. I'll do this. I'll do... Well, you could do the... I mean, you, the. I was going to say the one wheel stuff's probably... Yeah, yeah. So good. I've got one wheel. That's 26 seconds. Yep. So look, he's all he's doing is selecting them in the order in which he selects them is the order they will show up mm -hmm. on... Um, is the order they'll show up on the timeline. Yes, so you can see one, two, three. Oh, and I'll choose this one because this was me in the hotel. You see, it's a minute long. It yeah, was walking yeah. down the hallway. I use that as a speed ramp. So I'll show you that. Nice. So that's perfect. And so I, it's at the bottom right-hand corner. It says add four. So I can do that. Some people want to add photos. I think it messes up the short form video in a lot of situations, unless it's like tactical, but you can choose. So right now I'm on videos. You can choose photos and you can choose live photo photos and you can choose stock videos. So there's a lot of opportunity out there to uh, add more content in here. But for our purposes, we I took these videos with my phone and I'm just gonna choose add and it has them in the order that I want to add them, add for. Rose, what you got? Um, so I actually have a couple questions. Um, great stuff so far, by the way. Um, so I put it in the chat a little bit 
ago, but I know that some phones don't automatically have the screen record button in that drop down menu. I think you have to add it in settings and then it can you can add that button to the drop down menu. That makes a lot of sense. I know, yeah, I know I had to do that for my phone. Do you have an iPhone? Yes. Okay. So for iPhone, then I guess that makes sense. So you go into settings and you can choose to add the screen record feature. Yes, correct. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Uh, for for Android, I think depending on which one, it's just up there or you can add it or in both scenarios, you can download a screen recording app. Yep. And if you do have an Android, uh, you guys know you can go to uh, apple.com and buy an iPhone. Um, exactly. um, so yeah, I just wanted to bring that up to anybody who didn't have see that in the yeah. drop-down menu. And then my second question is, I know like you're extracting audio from your recorded videos, but is there a caveat in that where now that audio is no longer connected to other reels when you upload them to Instagram? Now it shows uh, up as an original audio. Is there like, have no. you seen success or fails with that? I've actually been playing with trying to get my original audio to go viral. Okay. And I think the way I think- oh, Hold on, hold on. Uh, Ian, let me, let me answer the question real quick. Yeah. Rose, we're pulling the audio in from Instagram so we can time the video, right? right correct. And then once, yeah. once we have the video timed, we're, we're using the audio from Instagram. We're not using the audio from the video. We're only pulling it in to time the clips so it doesn't look weird, right? We can get the clips right. timed. And then when you load it in Instagram, you want to use the Instagram audio, not the, not I the see. audio. Okay. Inside CapCut. So you would mute the video and then just use the Instagram audio. Well, actually, but it's well, still if, like timed. That explanation a little bit. So okay. yes, we want it for the Instagram timing, but Instagram is smart enough to know. And it just says, oh, this is from this video, this audio. Oh, you don't even have to add it. You it just does have it. To. Yeah. Oh, nice. You don't have to add it. It just knows. Okay. That's okay. how I mean, you know, they're they're all heavy on copyright and stuff. And yeah, so yeah. Sure it's attributed to the correct artist. Okay. Cool. Love it. Makes um sense. all right. So we've got clips in. I think yeah. on the audio side, Virginia is asking about Ian's vocal track. Um, Ian, are you extracting the audio for like a narration or are you doing a voiceover? Oh, great question. Okay, so no. Usually what I'll do is I'll hold my phone up and I'll say, you have to see the inside of this house. And that'll be clip one. That's it. Mm -hmm. And then I'll flip it around, I'll hit record, and then I'll say whatever I'm talking about in that moment for the next part of it. But yeah. if I do it that way, again, it, it gets rid of having that, that memorization aspect. And yeah. I can run through a house pretty quickly and still point out the features that I think are, um, you know, just nice to, to point out that are a little different than most tours that you see. Most tours are just, it has three bedrooms and it looks like this and it's so light and airy and that's fine. But sometimes people want the details. It depends on who your, your audience is and who you're talking to. And then Virginia, you can uh, do a voiceover too. Like when you hit audio, right, Ian, there's a voiceover option. There is a voiceover option. I don't know if I've ever added that. There it is. So I clicked right. audio and it's over to the right voiceover. Um, um, so lots lots of different ways that you can put narration uh, over the, the video. So let's see. You can just click the video click, clip and drag All right, it. All right, yeah. Let's, uh, let's reorder some stuff. Let's chop some stuff up. Let's bring some music in and let's time it and let's make a video. All right, so let's start with this. This is a really long video. I am going to, uh, I should start with adding some audio so that I have something to time it to, right? So yeah. add some audio, extracted audio, and then we're going to pull in that same church song, okay? Actually, I think this one is a good song. I don't remember what it is, but let's do it. <laughs> we'll just go. Yeah, hopefully we'll it's just a little go with it. So notice it came in like this. It came in a little off, right? I think this was a YouTube ad. Oh. Let me let me preface this by saying sometimes you get audio on Instagram or on TikTok and it's not the full song. I will go on YouTube and play the video, record the screen so that I have as much space as I need from that song. Mm -hmm. 
and then I'll bring it in to CapCut. And then as I'm creating my video, I can pick the parts that I want and Instagram and TikTok will still pick up that it's the correct song. I like still it. Pick it up. So it's not a problem, but yeah. sometimes you get these ads. So let's see. Take it to yeah. Oh, it's a remix. Yep. Okay. So it wasn't an ad. So obviously the first thing I want to do is get to that part of the, the song. This is all blank space up here. See no volume. So I wanted to start off with that. So I'm going to select the edge of this and drag it over. All right. So there's, and real quick, there's two ways that I like to edit. Yes. One, you can click it and drag it. The other okay. thing is you can just click it and hit split mm -hmm. and then delete the part that you don't want. Yes. So the reason, the reason why I'm careful with split, but that is the easier way. The reason why I'm careful with it is because if I wanted to click this and adjust the volume, I want to adjust all of it. If I start splitting tracks and breaking it apart, then some gets loud, some gets quiet, and then you have to play with that too. Um, and then if you move it around, maybe it won't match. So uh, yeah. Okay, right. so I made it shorter. I'm going to click it, click, hold, and drag it over to the beginning. Hold and drag. All right, so now we've got the beginning of the song is Greg Goad on his one wheel. And I've let's find the best spot of, you know, the gorgeous Greg with his hair flowing. Like, let's find that perfect clip that we want to start this video with. Oh, that's good. Well, it was hard because I was riding alongside him trying to film yeah. this guy. But that looks good right there. He does like a little wave, a little turn. Yep, I like the we, little got, wave. we got some movement going on there. Let's go with that. All right. So I'm going to click on that video and I'm going to do what Tim said. I'm going to choose split, which is at the bottom left hand corner. So split and see now it clips it. See, so now it's separate. So I'm going to so go delete, delete the front half one. of that video. I'm going to hit delete. I don't need it. Don't need that garbage. All right. So I've got the little wave. That looks good. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit split again. So now I want it to match the beat. Well, I don't have the beats. So I'm going to click on the audio. I'm going to choose beats. And I'm going to choose auto generate on the bottom left hand corner. Oh, and something went wrong because of course, while you're doing a demo, something always goes wrong. There it yeah. is. So it came up and these are the fast beats, but I'm going to do the slower ones because I want it to be easier for people to follow. So beat one. And this is, <laughs> if you're, uh, I was going to say that's a generational thing, right? Like if you're talking to somebody who's eight years old, they want it to be fast, fast, fast. Yeah. Fast. Yeah. All right. So the first beat shows right here. You can see it visually because yeah. you can see the drop. And another one here. So I like this. Um, let's hear it. Take me to okay, a couple things. One, I had sound in that video. You hear me talking to Greg? Yeah. So I'm going to click on it. I'm actually just going to, on the far left-hand corner, it says mute. I'm just going to mute that whole line. I don't need to hear what Greg's saying. I don't need to hear what I'm saying. Ooh. Yeah, you just click so, that mute button. Nice. And that applies to everything across the board. And I think this answers that other question about my the narration. You could just take a bunch of clips, mute them, and then do voice over audio if you wanted. You could do that. All right. So I've got the first drop here. Well, in, because on the one wheel, it seems a lot faster when you're on it. What I'm going to do is when you're watching it, it doesn't seem as fast. So I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So I clicked on, I clicked on the clip. I'm going to choose speed down at the bottom. See that? It says split and then it says speed. I click speed. And then I'm going to choose curve because Tim wanted to see the curves. Oh, no, no. I would go normal on this okay, one. Okay. I think I'm most of the normal. time we should do normal. Speed yes. ramps are great, but they're a little complicated. Fair. Okay, so normal. And I use normal a lot more because mm -hmm. I can choose how fast. So right now it's at one times. I can choose two times. I can just drag it to twice as fast. And now Greg looks like a superhero.
See that? Any questions on that? It's twice as fast as it was before. Yeah. Right. Okay. So now I can click on that clip. And then what do I want to do? I want to align it with the beat, which is that little yellow dot at the bottom. So I'm going to drag the right end of it. And it stops. Boom. And it just snapped to it. Yeah. Snap to it. Next. All right. What's our next shot? Next shot is not more of the one wheel. So I'm going to zoom in. So I can see all these other clips I've got over here. So you're pinching out. Yep. So I like the walking in doors. I think that does something for people. Yeah. Why? So I'm going to take that clip. I So what I did is I'm going to click on it. If I click and hold, it lets me just drag it anywhere. Okay. So I'm going to click and hold. And then it lets me drag it to wherever I want. So I'm going to put it right behind Greg's one wheel. And now I've got my second clip. So I'm going to zoom back in. See? And so I've got Greg one wheel. And then at the beat drop, boom, it switches to the stairs. However, again, going upstairs is kind of boring. It's you just want it to be fast. You don't want people don't want to watch that for seven minutes. So I can click right at the door opening part right here. That's action, right? So I'm going to select the clip, hit split, and delete everything in front. Everybody following? Any questions on it? Cool. So now it goes from Greg to the door opening right at the beat drop. And then we've got Cheyenne walking in as you're seeing the people open up. It's just a fun, uh, a fun shot. And then you could drag it to the beat. And you can drag it to the beat. So I click on it and I'm going to drag it. Boom. It's on the beat. Done. All right. Let's, uh, let's see. Let's add a transition. Yeah. And since say, you're walking, couple... let's, let's add a transition on the second clip. Since you're walking forward, let's do a zoom in to see what that looks like. Yes, into more of Greg writing. Got it. Yeah. So but this... try, try to, well, if we want to get into the detail, I would find like a clip where you're following him straight because you're okay. walking straight and then you I follow like him it. straight and the zoom like in it. would be, yeah. Like this right here. Yeah. Like if you zoom into that, Perfect. it'll look good. Right there. So that's Jesse Peters. His first Crushing time it. on a one wheel, y'all. Just crushing it. You know? Crushing it. He's like, I'm a, I got this. I mean, he's a hockey player though. So right. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to choose split. And I'm going to take that clip and I'm going to bring it further ahead. Before I do that, I'm going to make it shorter because it's really long. So I'm just going to make it a little shorter. And now let me bring that over. I made a little, there you go. I'm going to click and drag that to after the door opening. Yeah. Perfect. All right. So I've got one wheel door opening jesse peters on the one wheel and notice like tim said it's kind of he's kind of in the middle so i want to get him right in the middle right there i'm going to show you guys a really really cool this is going to be advanced so he's going to be right here okay so i'm going to trim it to where it's right where jesse's dead center see that okay so door jesse dead center I'm not going to show keyframes. I was going to say I can show keyframes, but now yeah, I'm going to add that transition and choose what was it? Pull in. You think the pull I think in? the pull in's good. Pull in. You see so, how since they're both shots are moving forward when you yes. do that pull in transition, it looks you know it's got a look to it. It looks cool. Okay. I think it looks cool. No, I I'm with you. It's uh, continuity. Yeah is what it is. So one more time, I'll play it. Yeah. So if you're, say you're like pushing into the kitchen on a listing video, and then you follow it with a shot of you like pushing into the living room, like moving forward and you zoom it in, it, it gives it a cool look. And you can do the same thing backwards, right? Like if you're moving back away from the kitchen island and then you you zoom out, transition to another, uh, out, you know, moving backward shot. And I it, think you uh, had definitely. mentioned it earlier, if you're like turning left, you can have it where it's it, the it swipes yeah. left with you. And 
you can make it look very fluid for people. I like it. Qu drop questions in the chat if you got them. We're going to keep going through, um, yeah, editing stuff. All right, text timing. Let's, uh, do you have anything with you talking that we can start from scratch and add captions to? Sure do. I mean, let's, I think I had, I think I was talking in this. So let's unmute it and add text. So I'm going to click at the bottom left hand corner or bottom. Or could you voice over or it's not going to work since it's streaming? I, I don't want to waste an opportunity to try it because it's streaming. Uh, so I'm going to choose text. And I can hit auto captions. Do you see that right in the middle? Auto captions. There's even auto lyrics. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, it's so like there's. There's so much, so much in this app. It's ridiculous. So for those of you that don't know, I think I've mentioned this in other situations, but CapCut is basically TikTok minus the social aspect. Yeah. That's why so many people love TikTok and their editing options. So I'm going to click auto captions. And then I can choose styles and animations and all that. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to choose all sound source. Do you see that? It says sound source. It's asking what type of audio you want to pull in. Cause I can do the voiceover. I can do from the video or I can do everywhere. So I'm choosing all. And then I'm going to click um, for the animation. I'm just going to choose one of the free ones. Bilingual. If you're paying for it, you can do bilingual uh, text. That's really, That's really cool. cool. And so I'm just going to go ahead and hit start. Creating auto captions. My next video is going to be in Spanish. Watch. <laughs> okay. So oh. it's saying that I have an <laughs> error with one of them, but I'm not going to touch it. I'm just going to say, oh, it just says, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, it's the only, the only words that came through on that clip. <laughs> okay. I just hit complete. I didn't. Or you oh, got the one where oh, you're you walking go. down the hallway, you said, is one that. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> well, that's a good example. So at some point, somebody i think it was me says oh man but i just want you to see how it pulls it up it automatically puts it where it needs to be based mm -hmm. on it hearing it and it makes it its own clip the beauty of that is i can now move it around i can resize it and then it does that for for all of them you can apply whatever i do to this to all of them so this is kind of bland it just says oh man but notice when i click on it now i can drag and make it you can edit it yeah you can size can it edit it i can do a style yeah let's say i want glow text here uh blue with the black outline right and here's a quick hack the bottom left hand corner you'll see an eye drop tool that's what it's supposed to be not a syringe you can take this eye drop tool and i can pick any color on my image to match so if i'm doing a, a video about real broker I can select the real blue and make sure that the blue matches. Nice. Um, Mark asks if you want to do a tour video like Tyler and Ray with a continuous shot, you split it into clips to do the speed ramps. Yeah. Um, you split it into clips. Yes. And then Tyler said that he does the normal speed, not the speed ramps, um, but you can do the normal speed thing or the ramps. Yeah, you can do normal. Um, I think it depends on who you're, like where you're posting it. If you're posting it on TikTok or Instagram, if you'll notice most of those videos, you're limited in time. So you only have a minute on YouTube Shorts. You have 59 seconds. Yeah. So it's hard to go through, uh, you know, a, a 4,000 square foot house in 59 seconds. And, and then you have to shave off 10 seconds for what you're saying. So, um, Go ahead. and then, uh, Cameron asked about Facebook and Instagram pushing CapCut edited videos down. Look, we're not worry or get into the weeds about that stuff. Like yeah. if you make engaging content and it's a good video and people are engaging with it, you'll, you'll get traction, um, and, and you'll get views. So I wouldn't worry too much about Instagram or Facebook messing with CapCut good. content. Yeah, I think the one thing I would say is be careful with the audio. Yeah. Use, right? Because now you have all this power in an app that's not on any of the platforms. 
but all the platforms still have their rules of engagement. And so if you're going to create a really cool track and then you put it on YouTube, first off, you have to worry about the length. If it's more than, if it's a, a minute and a half, it'll work on Instagram. It won't work on YouTube. And then you have to deal with the audio hurdle. So the safest thing would be if you, to have it at 59 seconds or less, if you're going to put it on all the platforms, all the platforms, and then you time the audio, but the YouTube version, you maybe you take the audio out. Mm -hmm. I think that's the yeah. safest way. Or, well, yeah, I think that's the easiest way to, to explain it for most people. Chad, what you got? Um, yeah, Ian, is, has everything you've done so far in CapCut um, been the free version or is some of the, these uh, editing tools the, pr the pro version? Well, so like the bilingual thing was pro. I think stock video is pro. There are certain transitions that are pro, but um, I'm, I'm a, an advocate of if I really like something and it's within my budget and uh, all that. I think it's 75 it, bucks for the whole year. Yeah, I just, I bought it. But everything um, you've done in this demo right now so far has been all the free stuff, right? I believe so, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah I think everything's free been stuff. free. Yep. I mean, if you just sell one house, right, guys? That's how we, <laughs> that's how we buy everything. Well, you just sell yeah. one house from this. Then... I get one deal from it, you know? <laughs> I can pay for the 40 different subscriptions yeah. I bought with that logic. I actually have to do uh, over 200 houses this year because of all the little subscriptions I signed up. Oh, my God. That's right. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I I, uh, I like what you said, Tim, though, is is uh if you pay for it for the year then you don't think about it anymore and what it does is it kind of puts you in a position where you're like well now now i, I better use, use it, it. yeah use it. yeah so, uh what are the questions do you want to see keyframes do you want to see you can do stickers do you, you guys have any other questions sharon i would say um the average time you spend is going to depend on how much you've used the app like i'm sure well, ian edits things a lot faster than I do, but I can tell you after editing my fifth video on CapCut, I edit way faster than I did when I first started. So I'll just get in there and your first one's going to take you forever and then keep it going. I'll give you an example. I really like, where's this video? I have this levitation video and I thought it was fun and everybody hated it. Yeah. <laughs> Not everybody, the algorithm hated it. Uh, but like, I'm going to show you how advanced you can get with some of these. So this video probably took me, I don't know, two hour, an hour and a half, maybe. But that's because I cut out all of these little uh, people. I, I Look at this. You see the lanes? You can get really, really advanced with some of this. Okay. So what I did is I put a clip on each layer, and then I moved the clip around to fit within what I was trying to showcase in the window. See, so each one of these, that's a clip. This is a clip. You're crazy. Is oh, clip. and you can green screen. Show me how and you green you screen. Can green, yeah. So it's all green screen and these are all keyframed. So me yeah. moving is actually keyframe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then the funny. audio. So I put sound effects. So when you go into audio, that's the next thing, you know, people get really excited about the, the sound of the music but you have to have sound effects. If you're throwing something, you want to hear the whoosh. And so that it, you can edit a lot. You can do. I can't everything. believe you did this whole thing in CapCut. Like that's, yeah, on my that's phone ridiculous. too. Everybody's like, oh, you need an iPad. You need a computer. It's like, yeah, nah, I did it while I was sitting, uh, probably sitting yeah. in the car in traffic. So uh, what did you say? Green screen? Um, yeah. Yeah. If we could see the green screen, how is there a separate thing you have to do for layers or is it just the, the drag and, and pull? For video layers. Good question. Okay, so if I want to add a layer, I'll use this one. Or actually, I'll use the one we were working on. I'll use the one we were working on. Yeah. So in here, if I want to add a layer, I can click on the clip. And at the bottom, I'm going to slide over. And you'll see something that says overlay. Ah. Overlay allows you to create a new layer. Interesting. See, so now... I've got a second layer on this clip. Nice. Is it, can I you can just drag it. it up to that other layer or do you have to play in your own layer? Yeah. Yeah. You have to play in your own layer. It doesn't. Okay, matter. cool. Nice overlay. There you go. That's a new one. Yeah. And you can add a bunch of them. Yep. But then it doesn't show like, 
you know, unless it's green screened, it doesn't show anything above. All it. right. So let's do, let's green take screen. something. Do you have anything here that would be easily easy to remove the background? Yeah, I'm sure I do. So let's, uh, I'm going to add a clip. I'm going to try, um, I'm going to do this one with Greg. So I'm yeah. going to click that one. He's on his bike. We went mountain biking. So I'm going to hit it's add. Two seconds, but we'll make it work. Yeah, it's two seconds. It's fine. I'll zoom in. So now I'm going to click on that. So, and I can choose cut out down at the bottom in the middle. Yeah. Let's cut out. So I'm going to click cut out and hit remove background is the, is the quickest way. Yeah. To do it. Look at that. Just bite yeah. All right. Now you can put a layer below him, right? So. And yes, the, so now let, I can take a layer and put it below him. Yeah, and let's so put the let's that, put the hallway below him. And I'm going to click overlay. And now I'm going to drag it under. And oh, I got. I don't know why it's not doing that. Why it's not and, showing? And oh, I was waiting for Greg in the hallway. I know it's supposed to be Greg in the hallway. Oh, we're we're making CapCut mad. I know. Well, and you know it's funny. Sometimes Does it have I'll to do with it? the. Does it have to do with the uh, stacking, the order? Like it the, does. It the does. hallway Absolutely. layer is yeah. on top of the other? Yep, yep, yep. It does. So I'm going to split. I'm going to go back and un uh, move it back. Layer. Oh, I'm going to choose main track. Oh, it was yeah. layer one instead of layer two. Yep. Right? Yep. yep, 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 yep. Interesting. There we go. All right, there he is. <laughs> there's greg in the hallway this is so silly so silly nice um i'll show you one more this one's real fun how are we on time we've got a couple minutes. I mean, we're, we're good if you guys got questions drop the questions in if you got more specific stuff or raise your hand so a trending feature right now is it's uh, a follow a camera follow and it's great for um, if you are walking through a house and you're following somebody or something like that, right? So I'm going to click on this, which is the clip of Greg on the one wheel. And I'm going to choose in the middle at the bottom is camera tracking. And I don't know if it'll work because it's all dark. Usually you need pretty good light for that. You see how it has face. Oh, so these are what? Pro. These are yeah. pro. These are pro. Body is what I'm going to choose. And you see it already selects it. So yeah. I click body. It already has a little green thing around greg but that's where my face stays in the same spot even if i'm like moving and the, the whole thing <laughs> yeah. looks weird right yeah and then i'm yeah. gonna go ahead and hit start so you're gonna track greg's body so hit oh. continue it, it got lost in the dark a little bit there huh yeah, it's oh, there a little you go. dark. so that's the thing you it really needs to be white but so here's what it does it's so crazy because it moves and then saves that movement. Then it moves and then it saves that movement. You see all these little diamonds? Yeah. These are super advanced. They're called keyframes, but it's moving the whole thing with you. So what what can you do with him? Can you like center him the whole time or what do you? Yeah. So here's what I'm going to show you. If you'll notice on the left-hand side of that screen, there's like this distortion. Yeah. Yeah. He's, the reason he's why moving. is because as it's moving, there was nothing over there. So it just fills it with this blank space. So in order to combat that, for you camera nerds out there, it crops, or you can crop it. So you can so zoom them in and it'll stay in the same place? You can zoom them in. So I'm going to undo all of that, which is, uh, where is undo? Um, so to the in the middle to the far right. So let me start with the play. The play triangle is right here. The play triangle. <laughs> Two icons to the right of that, it looks like a U pointing left. That's undo. So I just undid everything that I had done in that last clip. So I undid it. Next, I'm on this clip. I can take that screen of Greg and zoom in by pinching and dragging. So I'm going to yeah. do that. Click, pinch and drag, and I'm going to put it right here. So if you see that, I'm zooming in. Okay. Now I'm going to go back and add the tracking on his body, and I'm going to hit start. Yeah, it, keeps, it loses him because it gets dark over there. 
Yeah, it gets dark, but yeah. it works in that it doesn't have any distortion. Okay, but what can you what can you do with it? Does it keep them centered or something? Yeah. It, yes. Exactly. Yep. So it oh, I, I don't think I noticed that it was keeping them. Yeah. So if there's an erratic movement, let's say you're on a boat water skiing or yeah. something, right? Like you can, it'll follow just him. Yeah. Cool. What you'll see is um, you'll notice the trend on, on dance videos where somebody's in the middle yeah. and then everything around them is moving. Yeah. It's just, it's fun. It like I said, um, it's trending. Uh, so John trending. asked about speed ramps. Um, let's get into, you, you have an audio track on here, right? Yep. John, I'd recommend you just use normal speed change. First of all, like I, I wouldn't play with speed ramps, but the other thing you can do is, uh, grab that, that clip. I mean, I guess that one's fine. Um, so you go to speed, right? Well, where do we, you're changing the speed on this one. Got it. Of the, of the video. Yep. Got it. And then you go to normal. Now what's fun here is you can line up the line on where you want the video to stop. So say, you know, you need to speed up to the next beat. And then after that, you want the, the video to play. Um, you can put, I guess I should have had you do this in is you can put the playhead on the beats, right? So where's the beat, put the playhead on the beat and then go to speed hit nor yeah now you can speed it up hmm. and wait for that i don't know how long okay wait for that playhead i wait for the clip to be right on the playhead so you know you've sped it up to um where it is on the on the on the music Does that makes sense for everybody yeah, I, I think a ramp feature would have worked better. Like when you're walking up the stairs, you wanted to get rid of it. You're slow and then you go fast up the stairs and you're slow at the door again. I just struggle with speed ramping personally, but I understand. Well, that, that's why That's why I don't really well, it, do it because it, it's, yeah, it's a pain. Speed ramping, <laughs> while it's fun and it looks really good, it's absolutely kind of an advanced feature, but we'll play with it, right? So this is a pretty long clip. Oh, it's two. That's right. There's an overlay. Let me un-overlay this. Oh, yeah. So put it back on the main track. Perfect. So what you were saying is I've got all this where I'm walking up the stairs and it's kind of boring, right? So what I can do is I'm going to select the clip. I'm going to choose speed at the bottom. And then I'm going to choose curve. And that's, that's basically when people say speed ramp, that's what they're talking about is this curve feature. So I click curve. Now you have the visual version of the curve. So they call this one bullet because bullet time from the So the bullet, what it does is it starts off fast and then it slows down and then it goes fast again, right? So that's bullet. So you, they're visually showing you what this speed is going to do. Jump cut, here's another example of jump. So let's look at jump cut. I'm going to do jump cut instead of bullet. Jump. So it still takes a really long time. And then it's, <laughs> I think it's like right here where it does it. So instead of going in and making one clip fast, one clip yep. short, this will kind of try to smoothly change the speeds for you. It's right. just a little tough to, to manage in, sometimes. In most cases, you're just going to go to custom. Yeah. If you're going to use speed ramp, you're going to go to custom. And I'm going to choose edit by clicking on custom again. And this is my video. So right in the middle is normal speed. If I drag something to the top, it's 10 times faster. And if I drag it down, it's 0.1. So I'm going to take this and I want it to start off fast. See me dragging that up. And then I'll move this one a little bit. So it, it kind of goes down. Oh. Put it right here. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side because I want the door opening to be accentuated. See, so now I've got this look. So now let's play it. Oh, yeah. Right. And obviously I made it a it little bit. It does look fast, good. But it looks good call, John. Good call. 
<laughs> so look one more time. And you're hearing the audio. I didn't mute that track. Remember, I had unmuted. yeah, but that was that's. I mean, it's good to hear the audio because you can see how it times in. Yep. Love it. That's All right, lot. that's a lot. Any more uh, um, questions? I feel like that what was is a good, something uh, that, what is something that you didn't know that you can use in your business tomorrow or today that's the real question from this i'm editing a video right now that we shot yesterday i was going to edit it on splice but i am using CapCut for the first time it's pretty easy i like i like the i went to splice because of some of this stuff i i just honestly didn't have the time to sit down and figure out and splice was pretty intuitive as far as the speed ramping up and down for speeding up Mm -hmm. And the main reason I use these on my phone is to edit tours, home tours, walkthrough videos, and, and any kind of content that I create on site. I like yeah. having to be, I like being able to edit it on my phone because you can edit it on site. And so if you realize like, oh crap, I messed up on that, you can just reshoot it. So yeah. the faster you get at editing stuff on site, then the better quality your content will be because you can spend 10 minutes shooting it and then edit it and realize like, oh crap. I spent, I'm glad I spent five minutes editing it because that didn't work. Yeah. And then you can, can reshoot it if you need to. Yeah. So I'm, I'm liking it. Um, I like the, I like both having both options to either use a speed ramp feature or to use the, the custom. Yep. So and custom I'm already playing fun. with the curves and you can actually customize each curve. So I've been playing with that already. It's, it's good. I'm, I'm liking this. Good. I like the, so Krista said the extracting the audio, but the beat. Yes. Show the beat is huge. Um, yeah, that's going to be big. John says getting the audio imported into the clip. I do agree that uh, that was one of the most frustrating things. And just a quick hack that came out Instagram two weeks ago added, you can now see trending audio, like just directly. You could, there's a feature for trending audio now in Instagram. And so you can go in Instagram, find the trending audio, and then you can just use that. So it makes our jobs even easier. So Howard, Howard asks uh, about, let's see, found a solution when I have a short 61 seconds. I can now hey, you just- sa You saved the day for Howard. I love He's that. glad he showed up. Five second. I love it. Yeah. You know? Very good. Love it. Well, all right, Ian, we appreciate you coming on. Yeah. Um, Ray, why don't, you, uh, why don't you take us out with some, uh, with some tunes? Wait, I have to get out of the thing I was editing then. You gotta get well, out what do you do? You you know, I was, I was editing first, right? <laughs> no, I mean, this is good stuff here. We'll, we'll stick with the, uh, we'll stick with the prints then. Yeah. Here you go. If you haven't Thank been you. here before, we usually dance at the end of the call. I just appreciate Ian, the creator formerly known as a drawer user. <laughs> nice. This is uh yeah. This is a deep cut. If you're a Prince fan, you know this one. If you're not a Prince fan, you probably don't know. Nope. Not a Prince fan. Say I know this one. I get delirious whenever you're near. You get delirious whenever you're near. Alright, y'all. Y'all check out the podcast tomorrow. Krista is going to be on there with me. I love it. This week in real estate, every week on Wednesdays. That's right. We'll see you next week, guys. Bye, everybody. Bye.